Hi folks, here we are sort of running Windows 11 efficiently without startup and shutdown delays or being a network router to protect your home network from random hacker attacks. I've recently got this wonderful U2500 kit from 52Pi. It's like three boards in one, two Ethernet controllers as well as M.2 slot for connecting an SSD drive. It's also got a double jumper connection which reconnects the two USB 3.0 ports from Raspberry Pi 5 to the Ethernet controllers on the board. The jumper connection is also very useful if you are connecting the board to an arbitrary computer through an USB extension cable. The board is connected to the Raspberry Pi 5 in three steps. First you place extension port expander to raise the 40 pin expansion port pins. Next you screw on four metal supports that will hold the board. Insert PCIe cable into Raspberry Pi 5's PCIe slot and attach it firmly. Now turn your attention to the expansion board. Use a silver metal bracket to secure SSD drive to the board from its bottom side. Before completing the last step, please make sure that your Raspberry Pi 5 is is placed on a flat table. By placing the board over the Raspberry Pi 5 and pressing it down, the pins of 40 pin expansion port will protrude through the board's 40 pin connector and we create some kind of a new expansion port for additional cards. Next, connect PCIe cable and place USB 3 port jumper. I've been delighted to find out that this board was fast and efficient, not only in Raspberry Pi OS but also in Windows 11. Actually, when I saw it in an internet catalog. I thought that it might have been a missing link for efficiently running Windows 11 on Raspberry Pi 5 and it turned out that I was actually true. UEFI BIOS 0.3 that we need to install Windows 11 does not support any kind of PCIe switches that are common on more capable PCIe boards. But in this case it's much better to have a simple M.2 socket where you can place your SSD drive and this way you can directly connect it to the root complex. This also enables Gen 3 standard with the maximum speed of 900 85 megabytes per second which is almost twice as fast as gen 2 standard and it's also very beneficial when running windows 11 on a raspberry pi 5. what about ethernet adapters performance they are truly amazing they enable 2.5 gigabit per second data transfer rate while supporting all the operating systems that you can imagine for example windows mac os linux a number of linuxes the magic happens in Realtek RTL 8156B USB to Ethernet controller. It supports USB 2.0 and USB 3.0. On the Ethernet side, it supports 10 uh, megabit per second, 100 megabits per second, 1 gigabit per second, and 2.5 gigabits per second. U5000 board has two of these controllers, each being powered from a separate USB 3.0 Type A connector. On Raspberry Pi 5, the board performs flawlessly. For example in Raspberry Pi OS Bookworm Edition, which is basically Linux, the drivers are already available. The same holds true for Windows 11 24H2. Knowing all this, I became a little bit advantageous. I wanted to see whether a bare U5000 card would have worked with my Classics PC as a networking interface dongle. On the fourth page of the instruction manual, there is a port definition picture. Under number 9, there are two clearly visible LED power indicators, one for each of the USB ports. Furthermore, there are additional green indicators besides RTL 8156B chip to indicate connectivity as well as connection speed of each Ethernet interface. As a USB port is connected to a computer, its corresponding power indicator LED lights up. If you also connect an active Ethernet cable to its corresponding Ethernet connector, its green lights light up according to the connection speed and connection activity. The connection also worked and I was able to transfer data flawlessly. However, I must warn you that this is not a designed use of this board, so you are solely responsible for whatever happens to it or to your computer if you are using the board this way. If you are using the board attached to a Raspberry Pi 5, there are also some additional options. You may remove the jumper connection from Raspberry Pi 5's 3.0 ports to use only SSD drive or you may alternatively plug in just one Ethernet port provided that you have a different jumper board or a jumper cable with two male USB 3.0 connectors or two male USB 2.0 connectors. This way the other USB port remains free for connecting other devices. A jumper cable is more flexible and gives you more options which USB 
port to connect to an Ethernet adapter. With long enough jumper cables, you would have also been able to connect U5000 boards, Ethernet controllers, to another computer while the board is attached to Raspberry Pi 5. But I would like to warn you before doing this, too long jumper cable may cause connection problems. The grounds of Raspberry Pi 5 and the other computer get connected together. This may cause problem if one of the computers has a bad power supply or if there are problems with the wiring. Usually you are using such a connection when you are connecting a printer to your computer, but you have to take into account that a printer also has hardware protections against such problems. Therefore, I would suggest not to do this except if both computers have the same power supply. For example, if you are powering your Raspberry Pi 5 from your classic PC power supply, but you have to take into account in this case that many power supplies do not have enough amperage on 5 volts to be able to power themselves and Raspberry Pi 5 at the same time. To conclude our today's discussion, U5000 board is a really very versatile device which you can use for a number of purposes. It seems to me like a real computer Swiss army knife for computer enthusiasts. Thank you for watching. If you've liked the video, please press like and subscribe buttons. The next video is coming soon. See you.